Hello and welcome. In this video, we'll be looking at how we can add dynamic tooltips inside of our 3D model within Power BI using BCAD. First of all, let's have a look at our sample report. Over to the right, we have the model of a office building in which there have been installed a series of different sensors uh, looking at CO2, humidity, and temperature. To the left, we have the three types and some readings from those sensors. We have a quick look. We can see that the sensors have actually been modeled inside of the report, so we have the actual geometries of the various sensors. But we would like to have some additional information within our, our 3D rendering. So for starters, let's go to the format section after selecting our custom visual. And let's open up the Forge options. From here, we're going to activate the Show Tooltip on Mouse Over option. This will tell the Forge viewer to render a tooltip when we are hovering over a geometry and not only over markers, which we will have a look at in a future video. Now we go down to the Tooltip section. This is the standard tooltip section of Power BI Visuals. We're going to activate it and have a look inside. Here we have all the traditional options for tooltips. Uh, we're going to leave them be for now. The only thing I'll have you note is the type. Right now we are set to default. Later on we'll be changing this. Now let's go over to the data binding section and set up what we will be seeing inside of our tooltips. If we scroll down to the tooltips binding, we can start adding some data. So let's start by uh, showing the category of the object. So right now, if we have our vote, we can see we have special equipment. And then we can add from the IoT table, which is the table that contains the data of our readings of our sensors. We can drag in the type. Uh, maybe rename this for this case, the sensor type. And now we have the information of what kind of sensor we're looking at. So this is temperature, this is humidity. Uh, if we move down to these other ones, this is CO2, temperature, and so on. Okay, this already gives us a lot of information, uh, but because we have the actual value readings of our, of our sensors, we might want to show those in the tooltips as well. So to do that, we're gonna drag in the value column over here. And now because we have multiple readings for each sensor, we're going to have to aggregate these. So the default sets it to sum, let's set it to average. And now when we go over our sensors, we can see the type of sensor and the average value read from this specific instance of the sensor. This already is a very versatile tool. Uh, it can address a number of needs, but we can go a little further by leveraging Power BI's dynamic tooltips, which allow us to render an entire report page inside of a tooltip. Now to do this, there is some uh, preparation required. We went ahead and set up another tab in our report. We called it tooltip. And here we have a few visuals. So we have uh, the indication of a sensor, we have a graph of the readings over time, as well as some gauges showing us the max value and the minimum value registered. Now, right now, what we're looking at doesn't make a lot of sense because it's the sum of all values read for every sensor. This will, of course, be filtered out in the uh, view of our model. So let's go back to the main page of the report and select our custom visual again. Now we want to go to the format panel, all the way down to the tooltip section. And here where we set up the type, instead of default, we want to tell it to render a report page. As you can see, we get some new options down here. Uh, specifically, the page option allows us to define which page of the report is going to be rendered in the tooltip. For now, we only have one, but we may define multiple pages. So we're going to select the tooltip page. And then 
we're going to check in the binding section. We'll go down to the tooltips and make sure that it added the tooltip page as the first argument of the uh, tooltip binding. Now, if we move the zoom and check out our sensors, when we hover over them, we won't get the, the labels, we'll get the exact report that we were looking at before. Of course, now the data is filtered out based on the specific instance of the sensor that we're looking at. So at a glance, we can see how the readings went for the uh, sensor over time, as well as the maximum and minimum value reached by this specific sensor instance. Thank you for watching this video, and stay tuned for more upcoming videos on the new features of VCAD.